making of the video you know there come some times when you're watching a video on your phone let's say a youtube video but you are not really watching it you're just listening to the audio it can be a video podcast or music then you can use this application called fix standby to cover your screen with a black shade or overlay more like you've unlocked your phone while you watch the video with this you can actually put it in your pocket while the video is playing so once you install and allow all the necessary permissions you can simply activate it from the notification panel and once you no more need the black overlay you simply swipe it away from the bottom of the screen we all know the purpose of do not disturb mode on our Android smartphones mainly to prevent distractions such as notifications or calls if you need focus in a certain application you've launched. You can take the process of activating do not disturb mode to the next level by automating the process with this application called Auto DND. It is a very simple and lightweight application which puts your device into do not disturb mode automatically when you open certain applications. Personally, I've set the app to activate do not disturb when I open the Bible app, video playing application, document reading app, and podcast app. So whenever I open these apps, the phone enters do not disturb without me having to do it manually. Still on automation, Rotation Manager also puts your device in certain orientations when you open certain applications. Even though majority of the apps we use are used in portrait mode, but if you still have personal preferences on the orientation you want when you open certain applications, then you can use this application called Rotation Manager to do so. Just select the application and choose the specific orientation. You can even choose Auto Rotate so the phone will enter Auto Rotation automatically when you open that specific app. The next five applications control some basic settings on your phone with very simple gestures. Starting with Edge Control. This application controls both the phone brightness and volume by simply swiping up and down on the edges of your phone screen. You can customize the triggers and which edge to control what, a fantastic application you should have. Next is this application which uses your phone's status bar to control certain actions when you perform some gestures. It is called Super Status Bar and with the application activated, you can swipe forward and backwards to control either the phone brightness or various sound volumes depending on what you set as the main slider. You can also enable Auto Change Main Slider here to automatically change the main slider based on what is playing. So if you have audio playing, the main slider will control the media volume. If no audio playing, then the slider will control phone brightness. You can also use this application to perform some actions like taking screenshots, turning off the screen, turning on flashlights, going back, home or recent applications tab, and many more actions. Using gestures like single tap, double tap, long pressing and more. There are more quick settings this application controls which I'll leave it for you to explore. Another incredible application that makes use of the status bar is called Tab Scroll. And this works similar to Super Status Bar, but one feature that stands out from this application is the ability to quickly scroll to the bottom or to the top of scrollable pages using simple tabs on the status bar. You can set a single tab to scroll to the top of a page, double tab to scroll to the bottom of the page. These two actions stands out among the many actions this application can perform. This next application is a lifesaver and if you are a follower of this channel, you should have gotten used to it by now because I've been disturbing you with it always. It is called Action Notch and it makes good use of your phone's notch. Imagine taking a screenshot by simply double tapping on the notch or turning on flashlights with just a single tap or even playing and pausing media by long pressing on the notch. How cool! And not only these actions, there are several actions and settings that can be made, so you just have to go through and select which one you want. And then the last of the five is Volume, which can also be used to control music by skipping to the next song when you long press on the up volume or play previous song when you long press on the down volume button. So even if you have your phone in your pocket and you want to skip a track, you don't need to take out your phone for that. Simply long press on the volume buttons and it takes care of it 
once you have the application activated. Moving on to the last two, for those of you who use ChatGPT for solutions most of the time, you can have this AI assistant called VoiceGPT to replace Google Assistant on your phone. So if you cannot type into ChatGPT at a particular moment, you can activate the VoiceGPT and chat with it. Your voice chat will also show up in the chat screen for easy copying of results. Alright, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, if you have any more questions, feel free to ask. And once you have the Voice GPT application installed, you can activate it the same way you activate Google Assistant. You can even make it the default assistant application on your phone. Last but not least, you can have quick access to recently opened applications with this application called Taskbar. It brings up a dock at the bottom of the screen containing recently opened applications and in the dock, there is also a menu button which opens a mini app drawer in one-handed mode. So you can open any application from any screen once you open this mini app drawer from the dock. So those were 10 Android applications that control some basic settings and perform some quick actions providing enhanced convenience in your Android smartphone usage. With all of them being lightweight applications, once you have them, you will enjoy using your device always. Leave a comment and let me know what you think of these applications and if you enjoyed the video then kindly consider subscribing to the channel for more best Android applications and also like and share and as always thank you for watching.